Welcome to Catholic Mom Mindset, a daily show where you learn to walk closely with the Holy Spirit so you can live the life God is calling you to. I'm your host, Sterling Jaquith. Let us begin. Welcome back. Yesterday we were talking about revisiting your day with the Lord, and today I want to talk about putting more love into the world. But before I do that, I just want to say thank you so much for all of you who have reviewed this podcast. I just put my head down and I recorded so many of these before I released a single episode that I just wasn't even thinking about asking for reviews. I was just so excited about this show. And so without me asking, so many of you have given me reviews on Apple iTunes. And not only that, not only did a bunch of you just hit that five star button, which is amazing, but many of you, I think eight so far, took the time to write words about this show. And so as we talk about putting more love into the world, that is just so much love for me and I just receive it. I may not know all of your names, but it's very meaningful to me that you are listening to the show or watching the show and that you took the time to do that. It's very special to me. So today we're talking about how can I put more love into blank? So I'm just going to say, how can I put more love into this? And I love this question because it's so easy as a busy mom to just float from thing to thing and we are really good at getting things done. Did you know that? I just think moms are superheroes. I just think feeding kids and wiping their bottoms and putting their shoes on and holding their teenager hearts and making sure their clothes are clean, like just the basic things that moms do are incredible to me. It's incredible. But I think so many of us are doing them in a really kind of robotic, automatic way. And I just want to encourage you today, whatever you're doing, to just ask, how can I put more love into this? And what I, I love about the word love is that when I ask that question, I kind of feel it in three ways. One, how can I put more love for someone else into this? So um, maybe you're sorting the laundry And you know that it's really meaningful to one of your kids uh, that you lay their outfit out. Or maybe you don't normally sort the laundry, but you decide you have a little bit more time and you're going to take that extra two minutes and sort their laundry. Or maybe your husband normally puts his clothes away and you decide, you know what, I'm going to put his clothes away tonight. So how can I put more love into this activity for someone else? That's kind of one way I think about that question. And then the second way I think about that question is, how can I put more love into this for myself? If I'm going to be cleaning the floors, if I'm going to be making lunch, um, if I'm going to be driving somewhere, how can I love myself more deeply in this time? And sometimes for me, it's adding music. Sometimes it's getting rid of all sound and driving in silence and giving that time to the Lord. Because remember, the Lord often speaks to us in the quiet whisper of the wind. Sometimes it's eating something healthy. Sometimes it's about what I wear. Like I know that there are these moments when I think, how can I put more love into this? And I think, you know what? You would just really love that soft sweater today. Or you would really love it if you took the time to put on some jewelry. Because you think you don't like jewelry, but then when you put it on, you feel like a queen for the rest of the day. And you love that feeling. Right? How can I put more love for myself into this? And this isn't a prideful question. This isn't a everything should be about me. When we think about how we can truly love ourselves, when we use that as the word, right? you're going to feel warmth when you think of loving ideas. Because some of you... And I'd be like, okay, you got to go to the gym because you haven't been working out enough. But it sounds like that. And that doesn't sound like love at all. 
where I literally just because I know one of my clients so well recently told her like, I think you need to go to the gym because that makes you really happy. What do you think? But I said it was so much love. Right. So we can feel the difference. Our, our answers are going to be so different for all of us and each moment or each day. And then the third question I ask is, how can I put love for the Lord into this? How can you love the Lord more deeply when you're doing laundry or driving kids around or having a conversation with someone? And so this question, it's so layered. It's so deep. Simple things often are, how can I put more love into this? I'll tell you when that is the question that's at the forefront of your mind, you're going to enjoy your day a whole lot more. And that's what this podcast is about. It's just kind of daily reminders to help you walk more closely with the Lord and live with more peace. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Catholic Mom Mindset. To learn more about growing closer to the Holy Spirit, check out our free resources at madefor greatness.co. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day.